Van Fieren maintains that laws and policies, some of which came into force in the 1960s, for instance, means Namibia's policy framework in such cases are not only outdated, contradictory in certain aspects, but also far behind international and global standards. When a human needs help, we take him to hospital uh, and he gets help. But when an animal needs help, you need all sorts of permits and you need all sorts of processes to go through. And in terms of animal welfare, and let, let me make it very clear, there's a, there's a big difference between animal welfare and animal rights. We're talking about animal welfare. In terms of animal welfare, we, we are far behind the rest of the world. And we should get laws and in place and processes in place to help animals that need help. Uh, we sit with more than 30 cases, documented cases, of animals that have been put down or euthanized because uh, of the processes that's just not sufficient to help those animals. Meanwhile, plans are underway to create awareness on the legal reforms they require to provide the necessary care to injured, orphaned, or in cases of relocation of endangered animals during human wildlife conflict, he added, saying for now, the process remains complicated. Van Fieren, when quizzed about the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, says they barely survived as they were forced to cut costs and salaries to retain all jobs across the sanctuary. The award-winning non-profit organization, which opened its doors in 2006 from merely providing a safe haven for endangered animals, has grown into a shelter for all sorts of wildlife with a special niche for landscape preservation. Without tourism, conservation is dead. It's only, it's only a conversation. Um, so, yes, we, we hope that this year the COVID-19 pandemic uh, finally leaves us or eases up on us and tourists return to Namibia and we can escalate the work again. Van Fieren, a medical expert by profession, also runs a clinic for the community of Opukiro in Post Dri. The sanctuary has also attracted sponsorships from A-listers such as Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie and actor Brad Pitt, amongst others, and continues to grow in leaps and bounds breathe life into the tourism sector through conserving nature and wildlife. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Nankuse.